appreciate it, guys. Switching gears here to the pros, we are getting ready to immerse ourselves in the first of two championship weekends. And boy, do we have some doozies coming up. Let's get into them. First off, we have the defending AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals versus the number one seed KC Chiefs in an AFC championship rematch in Arrowhead. For the Bengals, Joe Shicey is chasing more than ever, as last week he started out 9 for 9 for over 100 yards and two touchdowns. Granted that the Chiefs gave up 130 yards to Jones and Christian Kirk, who are good but nowhere near T. Higgins or Chase, should be a good day for Joe, Jamar, and T. Joe Mixon, in what has been an unfortunately inconsistent year, turned in a 100-plus yard effort despite having three stars out at offensive line. After allowing 144 rushing yards to a significantly weaker group, Chiefs should struggle, struggle against Mike Mix and the Bengals rushing attack. Moving on to the Chiefs' offense, they obviously have weapons, but less than the Bengals. They showed an overreliance on Kelsey last week, which shows that Juju and MVS just are not those guys. Bengals will look to double team him or Kelsey, similar to Mark Andrews in the wild card game. As long as they stay on him, the Chiefs' passing attack should be kept in check. This means that they will lean into the running game with Ponchero a lot more, who had over 100 yards last week, as he continues his jaw dropping and surprising season. They also have speedy Jerick McKinnon in their back pocket, so the Bengals will have to watch out for those tricks. They have struggled against a, the run a bit this year, especially against run-dominant teams. Overall, this will be a lot like the Ravens game. The Bengals will be explosive and efficient on offense, which would make for a blowout, but the Chiefs will run the ball down the Bengals' throat and grind out and keep it close. However, in the end, it will not be enough to contain the Bengals' offense, no matter how much pressure Burrow gets. In the NFC, we have the number one seed Philly Eagles versus the up-and-coming number two seed San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers have Mr. Irrelevant as their QB, who has thrown multiple touchdowns in all but one game this season all while having only one interception. The only question of him is, are the lights too bright? And after they got CMC, who has returned back to his 2019 dominance after a couple years of injury. And Kittle has been more of a blocking tight end this year. Open room for CMC. And Debo, who has taken a step back this season, but could break loose at any moment. Again, Debo has taken a step back, but he could break loose at any moment. Brendan Ayuka stepped up huge with a 1,000-yard season following Debo's regression and looks to be a huge deep threat. Defensively, their anchors are Nick Bosa, who leads the league in sacks, 18.5, and first-team All-Pro Fred Warner, and they have two DBs of four-plus picks. On to the Eagles. Jalen Hurts has truly taken that next elite step this season of 4,400 total yards, 35 touchdowns, and 11 total turnovers. To accompany him, Miles Sanders has also had a breakout year of 1,300 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns. And A.J. Brown, 1,500 yards. And Devontae Smith, 1,200 yards, have had over 1,000 yards and 18 of my touchdowns. Defensively, T.J. Edwards has had a whopping 159 tackles. Their D-line, Hashan Rex, 16 sacks. Javon Hargrave, Brandon Graham, and Josh Sweat, 11 sacks. 32 first turnovers. 32 forced turnovers, 6-6 six, six for Gordon Jobson, 3 for Bradbury, and big play slay. Arguably the best defense in the league. Overall, while the 49ers have had a lot more names, not all of them have, not all of them have lived up to their hype this season. It's going to be really hard for Brock Purdy to function with that deep Eagles D-line and DB group. CMC will struggle to get yards because their O-line will struggle against the D-line of the Eagles. And the 49ers secondary will struggle to, to contain both Brown and Devontae Smith, despite two 49ers DBs having four-plus picks. This is why I'm favoring the Eagles to go to – Go to Super Bowl against my Bengals. All for the NFL for now. We will see you guys on Super Bowl Sunday. And back to you guys in the studio. Who that?